Hello everybody, I had a question regarding the most recent uh, video I posted as of this recording talking about that deformation that happens when things are parented together and that's a really common uh, problem and the question was, well, why does this happen? I explained some ways of fixing it and there are obviously more ways to fix it too but the question was, well, why does this happen at all? Well, I didn't really go over that in the video, that's true and so well, let's do that now, I'll make a quick little video I can post on uh, to the channel just to say just to kind of talk about why these this actually happens so again to demonstrate this i'm going to do a little bit simpler this time i'm going to create a polygon cube and i'll make a polygon prism it doesn't really matter what shape they are but i just want to have two different uh, shapes and the prism kind of inherently is this uh, rectangular shape so what we're going to talk about here is non-uniform scaling versus uniform scaling so if I just if I just selected the cube and scaled it up like this and you can see over here my scale X Y and Z's are, are all the same value 7.171 in this case so if I scale up my prism here just to make it look about the same and I'm going to parent the prism to the cube so prism selected shift select the cube press P to parent so in the outliner, my cube is the parent of the prism. So when I go to rotate my prism, no problem. See that? No issue at all, because my parent's scaling is all uniform, all scaled X, Y, Z, all the same uh, amount. I'm going to slick my prism now, shift P to unparent it. You can see here now it's not parented anymore. I'm going to slick my cube again, and this time, I'm going to do something like this. Let's make scale X and Y three and scale Z, specifically Z axis. Let's make it like 15, like this. So this is non-uniform scaling, right? The scales are different. X and Y is three, those are uniform. Scale Z is 15, non-uniform. So again, I'll select my prism, I'm just for the sake of Simplicity, I'll make all the scales here three. It's whole numbers, no decimal points. I'll select my cube now and press P to parent again. So the cube is now the parent of the prism once again. Now if I rotate in the x-axis like this, you'll actually notice there's no problem. No deformation happens. However, if I rotate it this way, now you see a large deformation occur, right? And again, this one has been scaled in the z-axis 15 units. So let me undo that rotation. And what were to happen if I unparent this and let's rotate it 90 degrees this way and then I'll scale it 15 units in the y-axis. You see how long it gets? about the same length it was when it was deforming, right? So what's happening is the child inherits this non-uniform scale of the parent and it tries to mimic that. So it's good practice and it's hard to get in the habit of doing, but it's very good practice that before you parent things, reset the transformations of the parent first. If I go to modify, freeze transformations, you go into the options here, you can freeze certain things. So you can freeze, say, for example, just the scales. If you don't want to freeze, translate, and rotate for some reason. Say so freeze transformation. So you see the scales now are all 1, 1, 1. So now I can select the prism, shift, select the cube, press P to parent it. And now when I rotate it, we're having no problem because the parent's scales are all uniform. Okay, so this uniform scaling versus non-uniform scaling. So what was happening in one of the solutions I gave was by whenever you group this object before you parent it to the cube, it's because that group is, an, is not uh, being scaled or anything. It has that uniform scale of 1. So when I select the prism, press Ctrl-G to group it, the group's scales are all 1, 1, 1, and then I can select the cube and parent it to it with the cube still having that scale of 15. And so we get, again, this uh, list like we had before where the group 
is between the cube and the prism. And now because the group's scaling is all uniform, we don't get any problems. However, if I do select the group, let me first unparent the prism. If I did scale the group for some reason, just for the, I mean, there's nothing there. It's, a, it's an empty thing. But if you look at the group's scales, and I've changed them all now, and then I select the prism, select the group, parent the prism to the group, and then try to rotate it, we're going to get that problem again, just because it's that group's scales have been scaled non-uniformly. So that was why the group was a possible solution, but you can't mess with the group's scales, though, or you get the same problem again. Let's look at something else now, another a possible solution, depending on what you're wanting to do. I'm going to take the scale of this back down to 3, so it's uniformly scaled now, 3, 3, and 3. So by default, or at least typically, if you were to look at the Scale Tool Settings, so over here is the Scale Tool in my toolbar, I'm going to double click it, here's my Tool Settings. You can see my axis orientation here is Object, I'm on the Object level. And that means that if I were to rotate my cube like this and press R for the scale tool, you'll see the scale handles are oriented with the object's uh, orientation. So the axis, the uh, tool for the scale tool, rotates with the object. So if I rotate it at some weird angle and press R for scale, you see the scale handles are oriented with the object. Okay, that's with the uh, tool being set to object mode. Now, if I hold down the R key, which is the shortcut for scale, and then left-click and hold out in space, you get those same tool settings here. This is my little shortcut I use to get to the scale tool settings. And here you can see the object mode is checked for it, the scale tool being in object mode. Now, if you were to change it to world mode, so now I have my scale tool set to world mode. And if I rotate my cube and press R for scale again, you see how the scale handle does not orient it with the cube. That's one way you can tell that it's not in object mode anymore, it's in world mode. So if I scale this cube like this now in world mode, again I'm emphasizing I'm in world uh, mode and not object mode. If you look at the channel box, my scale X, Y, and Z is still set to 3. They're all still set to 3. I'm scaling it in world units and not object units. I'm scaling it on the world level and not the object level. Select my prism, hold shift, select my cube, and press P to parent. Again, my cube still shows a uniform scale because I, the object level scale is all uniform. It's the world level that has become non-uniform. So when I rotate the prism now, no deformation. As far as it's concerned, the parent has uniform scale. Okay, so again, that's another solution. You can, it's hard to remember, to be honest, uh, to try and keep to a world level scale when you are wanting to parent things. It's very, very easy to be way beyond when this would be a viable uh, solution, which is where the other solutions come in handy, the freeze transformations and things. But if you do remember to switch your scale tool to world level, the world level scale before you scale non-uniformly and then when you parent something to it the child will not have any deformation associated with it so that's the reasons behind it the non-uniform scale of the parent and that's why when the scales are non-uniform you have that deformation happen because the child inherits that non-uniform scaling so the one, that's why the solution or one of the solutions is to freeze the transformations of the parent to make the scales uniform again. So anyway, I hope this video helped explain the reasons behind it and help you possibly prevent it in the future. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you later.